Hey guys, Rick Yagi here with Hunting the Empire. It's uh, March 19th, and we're out here on the hunting property today. And we're going to be liming and frost seeding this third acre food plot here. Uh, last year we had this food plot split up into two different sections. We had cereal grains and groundhog radish planted in this upper section of the field. And down here on the lower section we had a perennial uh, white clover, ladino and dutch white planted down here in the bottom. Uh, at one time this whole plot was nothing but white clover, ladino and dutch white. Uh, but last year we decided to take this top section, uh, do a little something different with it. So what we have coming in up here right now is uh, the cereal rye is starting to poke back up. Uh, we had a soil test done on this area. The soil test showed that we needed about 1,200 pounds of lime put in here just to keep the pH where we want it. So we're going to be putting... 400 pounds on this third acre here today and after we're done liming here we're going to go through I've got some medium red clover in the UTV along with some chicory uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started here we have a uh, broadcast spreader over here I put half the bags down here at this end and the other half out here in the middle because you never know where these things are going to empty out, these broadcast spreaders. And you don't want to have to be running back to one place every single time when you run out. So it's good to just divide it up through the field here. So uh, we're going to get to work. I like to use pelletized lime. Um, it's just easier for me, especially with the broadcast spreader here. Um, it's not the cheapest way to go. I'm using dolomitic limestone uh, because I was a little, little uh, short on magnesium with my soil test. So uh, the dolomitic limestone usually corrects pH a little bit faster. Again, it's not the cheapest way to do it, but for the size of plots that I'm using and the hard to reach access, it's kind of the best option for me. So, Liming your plots is important for a number of reasons. It helps establish better root systems, um, helps increase the upregulation of nutrients that are locked in the soil through those stronger root systems helps make your plants more drought tolerant, more resistant to disease, um, a balanced pH uh, creates a better matrix of bacteria and microbes in the soil also, uh, which is good for decomposition of organic matter, helps make your fertilizer more uh, effective, etc, etc. I mean, just all around you're going to have healthier, uh, stronger plants that's going to provide more tonnage for your animals.
All right, so <clears throat> I've got about a pound of medium red clover in here. And we've got about a third of a pound or a half a pound of chicory in here also. After doing the conversion, five pounds per acre of the medium red clover and three pounds per acre of the chicory, that's your conversion. So we're gonna get to spreading here. so we're done here uh, we've put 400 pounds of lime here on this third acre plot we have frost seeded the top portion of it with medium red clover and chicory uh, we have we'll have volunteer rye coming up here uh, this summer uh, it's already starting to come back up here so that'll act as a nurse crop for the clover in the chicory to get established here this summer um, it may or may not fill in the way I want it to if it doesn't that's okay um, before I come in here and I cut the rye down this this fall I can just go ahead and fill in some some of the bare spots with with some more clover at least here for a good fall planting so if it doesn't come in as thick as I want it to right away um, I can even come out here before a rainstorm here uh, this this spring and just see a little bit more into the bare area so I hope you guys found this informative uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube link down below Check us out at Hunting the Empire on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram at Hunting the Empire. You can follow me at Northeast Whitetail on YouTube. And you can also find me at Northeast Whitetail Habitat and Strategy Management on Facebook. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.